All right, I Want by MKG. This has been on the docket as a request for a long time, so I do apologize for that, and I do apologize for this intro. It's going to be a little a bit of talking because we have to talk about it before we actually start playing. Now, this is going to be a song that we're trying our best to translate to the guitar. Some parts work better than others, but keep that in mind as I try to teach you. Now, it's tuned differently if you kind of want to match the overall sound that's going on here. So... We talked about tuning to different hertz, because usually we're tuned at 440 hertz. This is tuned down to 427. So what I'm doing, though, is tuning tuning from standard to a very, 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 very flat standard, or tuning down half a step, but that being that very sharp. So what that means is if we can get my camera to look at my tuner, we have a regular six string um, tuned, uh, where are we here? Very, 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 sh it's shown as a D sharp or an E flat. So tuning the six string down to that, to very, very, very sharp. And then what we have to do, we're not done yet, putting the capo on the first fret. So then you have to take uh, the camera again here to retune this to not be an F, but to be, if I can do this with two hands here, bear with me, to a very sharp E. So just getting that right. Not an F, we're very, very, very sharp. We want the tuner to show us an E with cape on the first fret, a very sharp E. And then same thing for the other strings here. You want it to be basically your standard strings that we all know and love, E, A, D. We want that a little bit sharper uh, G see now okay that's fine it's very 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 sharp G maybe tune down just a little bit on that G string that third string there oh now we lost the camera there we go uh, same thing with the B and then the E let's go back to that G there yeah I just want to tune that down just a little bit more I'll do that on my own here very quickly here and that's what we have to deal with for the song. Now for the tab, I tabbed it out the best I could. Anytime you see a D in parentheses, I'm just hitting the open D, open four string. Now for the chords, you know, you're gonna have your G, you're gonna have your E minor, you have your C, and then for when we call for a regular D, I'm just moving up, and really I'm just hitting the fifth and the fourth string. Same with the with the C, and same with pretty much all the other chords, I'm really just hitting these bassier strings. Right, so the intro, um, try the best I could here, it's gonna start on this G. It's gonna be a very loud and, um, not loud per se, but I don't know how to describe it, but, um, it's gonna have hopefully this sound you can match with them. I think they walk, you can maybe walk to an E minor to get that kind of effect, and then it's gonna have that C to D. It's gonna have this a lot, C to D climbing up and down. You're the best thing I know. that vibe you know not the greatest song to play on a guitar trying to encapsulate the whole uh, sound of the song but i do like the song um so again that d in parentheses is going to be an open four string open d string per se usually comes before that e minor so again for this part here so tell me what you're dreaming about it's kind of hard the time and hopefully it you can pick up on the sound if that's what you want to do again this is what i'm doing so so tell me what you're dreaming about i don't know the lyrics that well uh but that's kind of the vibe i'm getting so then at the end of this verse if they're calling it a verse here they're gonna have this little instrumental break and there's this one sound that we can get relatively well it's gonna be this shape here it's gonna be uh not not fretting the 6th and the 5th string, but then on the 3rd fret. Not fretting the 3rd string, but then fretting the 1st fret.
fret on the second string and then the third fret of the first string. I know it's kind of confusing, but you're just plucking. And you're gonna hear that, you, I promise you, you'll hear it in the instrumental. It's the sound that comes up most, I think, in my opinion. It's kind of has a boom, 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 boom. So you can kind of hear it. I don't know, I translated it the best I could to the guitar here. Then um, most of the rest of the song until the very end is gonna be what we just talked about. Then they have another instrumental break where it has some quick chord changes or the best chords we can fit with that would be, in my opinion, a B flat to a C. You can just climb up with your bar chords and then an F. But then the last chord, I'm not sure if it sounds better with an A over the D major or a D minor. So kind of fool around with that, but it's like... So I don't know what sounds better to you, but you play that four times. Then he comes back to singing, which is pretty much the stuff that we talked about. And then the outro is uh, largely what is going on in the whole song again. We're at six minutes, but two of the minutes was talking about the tab and getting set up for it. So hopefully that helped out. Uh, I tried my best with this. Like I said, not the greatest song to uh, translate to the guitar. I don't know if there's even a guitar in the song at all, but it's a cool song nonetheless. And we tried our best with it. So hopefully it helped you out.